Ramblin' Man here. Okay, so what are we doing as a country? That's that's my question, because... Um, so apparently, now we can have uh, anyone that... If you feel you're one gender, you if you r relate more or identify as a different gender, then you can participate in that sport with that same gender. That makes no sense to me at all. Now, I'll have a lot of people that will disagree. I don't know why. Because if you have kids, especially if you have a girl, and you have a child that is born a male, and they decide that they identify more as a female, and they're going to play sports with your daughter? Hell no. That's the stupidest thing I've heard in my life. I mean, I knew this was coming because if you think about it, and, and like I said, this has nothing to do with the LGBTQT community or anything like that. I have gay friends and things like that. This has to do with why are your why should one gender be able to play in the same or compete in the same um, arena as another gender? It doesn't matter how you identify. God made each and every one of us, and so if you take the fastest man in the world against the fastest woman in the world, there's no comparison. It's just not going to happen. And so as kids, when I was a kid, we competed for everything. You know, you got a trophy if you won. If you were second place, I mean, I can tell you the ribbon colors. Let's go with blue is first place, red is second place. You got one of those green ones. All that said was you showed up. And every, nobody wanted that stupid green one. They're like, this is the stupidest thing ever. Now what they do, they give everyone trophies. So everyone can get a trophy. That doesn't, there's no competitive spirit there. And that's why you have all these millennials and everyone else talking about, oh, poor me, I didn't get this, I didn't get that. Well, you didn't work hard enough for it. Put in the work and you get what you get. How about that? Now, you're going to tell someone that, you know what? You identify as a female. It can be reversed. It could, you could be a female or you identify as a male. But how do you compete on that level? But the reason I bring up a male identifies as a female is you start playing sports with a female. And yeah, when we're kids, I remember being a kid like kindergarten through second grade. And we had, uh, you know, girls and guys on the same soccer team. Well, as they get older... I think that's why they started doing all these select and things like that is because you realize that, and you know, still in the city sometimes, the city leagues will have like mixtures of that as little kids. But you start to realize that just like everything, there's certain steps. As the girls start growing, they get around the middle school age, they're like six foot tall. Not really, but they feel like that compared to the boys. And the boys are like, what is going on? They're not going to ask a girl out because she towers over them. Then you get into high school and... They may be matched up evenly as far as their their size, and then, but you can see those big boys once they start uh, maturing. There's no comparison. So whether you identify as a woman or a girl, and you turn around and you've grown and you hit that growth spurt, now you're a guy. It doesn't matter if you're dressing in dresses, okay? You're putting dresses on. You're wearing panties. Doesn't matter. You're still a guy. So you're still going to grow the same way. You're still going to have muscle mass that a girl wouldn't have. Unless she puts on... You know, you have those freaks of nature, trust me. But you still... You can't compare one to the other. They are apples and oranges. They are not apples to apples. So when you have a guy that comes in to play sports with your daughter, ask yourself, are you okay with that guy running your daughter over... Playing basketball, playing soccer, whatever it is. Because they identify as a female. I don't think so. I don't know how we get past this or what we do with this. This is the craziest thing. Well, I, nothing surprises me anymore. I mean, is it time for Texas to secede? Maybe. Maybe it is. But you tell me your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe, you share, and on this one, you best bet I'm looking for those comments. 
Because when it comes down to, is this person going to be playing my daughter? Hell no. Let me hear your thoughts.